This is part three of my arcane reaction. If you haven't seen part one and part two, it'll be linked down below. Now we're on episode seven and it's called The Boy Survivor. It's almost hurtful to me to watch her be so dumb. Oh, okay. I declare war on anybody standing in the way of what I dream for. It's all about the get back. It's hard to get back while the politicians kick back. That only happened to you, miss this. I'm gonna fix that. Yeah. Ooh. That song really said, F the government, F the police. <laughs> Oh, what are you? You shy or just ugly? Oh, are you shy or just ugly? <laughs> you look good for a dead girl. Shut up. Okay, Echo, I see you got your own little squad going. I see you gone taller. You really toughened up. Oh, oh wow. It's me, Vi. I didn't know if I could trust you. So. So you just come out swinging? Yeah, and kidnap her? Gee, I wonder who I learned that from. Oh, well, you should have learned more. You still punch like a little boy. And you still block with your face. <laughs> I missed you, little man. Oh, she was pretending to be tied up. <laughs> How long have you had those off? Mm hmm. How long have you been whining? Aww. I would very much like to see the device. This, uh, hex core. No, I don't trust you to see the device. Nature has made us intolerant to change, but fortunately, we have the capacity to change our nature. And this is Shima? A variant. Love and legacy are the sacrifices we make for progress. It's why I parted ways with Heimendinger. Do not trust him. Jace will understand. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jace, why do you have to be so hot? Look at him. Okay. Hey, we'll get through this. I'll store the council, but they'll soon need their leader. In the meantime, try not to lose your nuts. <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh, really injured you. Good. Uh, I didn't lose her. They took her. She cares about the divorce. You saw it. Well, she's just some stupid topsider. Yeah. Are we stapling the cut together? Yep. Blueberry, why? Caitlin. <laughs> I'm scared. When I first saw it, I knew this was the place. If a single seed can make it down here, so could we. Aww. That's so cute. Everyone here was an addict or a victim. Mm -hmm. They needed somewhere safe to start again. So did Echo become like the new Vander? Powder's gone by. All that's left is Jinx and she belongs to You're Silky. wrong. She's still in there. I can reach her. I got one more thing to show you. Oh, is this the memorial? Oh, shut up. This is everyone we've lost. No. Some of it was enforcers. Most was Silco. <laughs> riot, riot, riot. <laughs> Do you have any idea how this looks? I told you, I knew someone. Well, you didn't say they were from the Undercity? What difference does that make? Yeah. They're dangerous. Do you hear yourself? Oh my goodness. I'm from the Undercity. You're right. You see what you're doing? You're creating more of a division when to begin with, this whole thing was supposed to bring people together, help people out. Ever since you're stunned, topside, profits have been plummeting. Where I see it, we should cut a deal and give back the gemstone. Better to have some trade than none at all. 
No, well, not the fans stopping. How are you meant to bring Piltover to heal if you can't handle your own people, huh? Mm. She's got a point. <sighs> Wait, what? Oh, you don't recognize it. Air so thick it clogged your throat. <laughs> oh. Offered you a taste of topside. Yeah. But you've grown fat and complacent. <laughs> Call them out. Oh, and look at the dead flowers. They were looking so pretty. Good meeting. That's if he just walks out and says good meeting. <laughs> mean like that just say no thank you i'm not thirsty well in cupcake's defense she did just get kidnapped so f politeness <laughs> let her go i brought her here it's me you want my hero <laughs> <gasps> let me oh. help you with that where have you been james chasing down dead ends and Guess what? They're not all dead. Oh! Marcus never told me she was in Stillwater. Oh! I wanted to protect you. From what? Mm hmm She and the Enforcer are back for the crystal. Not for you. Don't tell her that. Have you forgotten how she left you? Who found you? Who cared for you? Gave you a home? I am your family. Everyone else betrays us. I'm still confused as to if he really cares about her or if he just really needs her for his plan. Or maybe it's a bit of both, you know, because two things can be possible at once. I for sure don't think he loves and cares for her on a human level. He idolizes her a bit too much. James is perfect. He has this mind of what his version of a perfect human is. He has morphed Jinx into that. So when he's caring for her, it's more of in a way of like, I must protect what I created other than a, I must protect this person because I truly love them and want the best for them. Like, I don't think he wants the best for Jinx. You have to complete the weapon. I did not need that close up. Oh, now my eye feels weird. It's a misunderstanding. They think you work for Silco. Your people hunt us like animals. Silco pays them to do it. That's not possible. You're wrong. Really, girly pop. In denial. Oh yeah? Then what's this? You got it. It's a gemstone. It was stolen during the attack by your sister. You just forgot to mention that? <laughs> we could beat Silco with this. That won't solve things. Well, it will solve something, you know? Please, let me help you. You got a plan? I have a friend on the council. Yeah, let's use the word friend real loosely because Jace is losing his morals real fast. It's been suggested that they may have found a way to utilize the gemstone. If we are to assume the worst, that would mean they've turned it into a weapon. See, and this is why we should have listened to Professor? Mm-hmm, it's buying y'all in the ass now. What are you suggesting? We should prepare our own countermeasures. What do you mean? You want us to build weapons? Absolutely oh, not. Oh my that is not goodness. why we invented Hextech. I'm only asking you to prepare to defend your people. If we're lucky, we'll never need to use it. Ridiculous. You cannot be considering this. He is, which is what's even more ridiculous. We agreed Hextech was to improve lives, not, not to take them. We may not have a choice. You do have a choice. Okay, Whew, good. There is always a choice. Mm-hmm, tell him. I need to think. Don't think too hard. Your brain might melt. Okay. 
See, I'm kind of feeling this is a trap. Y'all ain't getting this eerie bad feeling. Don't get yourself killed. No promises. It's been real, Cupcake. Thanks for everything. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, that's creepy, but so cool. It's just a goodbye hug. Halt! What the hell is this? It's a trap. Marco! For some weird unknown reason, my brain kept auto-correcting Marcus's name to Marco. So in this part, I'm gonna continuously say Marco. Just know I'm talking about Marcus. I have proof. Silco's behind everything. Yeah, Marco already knows. Show me. Do not show him. No, 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 no. Marco, Marco. Why are the fireflies following her? Did Jinx make these? Like, are they explosive or something? They, oh, they are. Oh my goodness. Okay, good. I was about to say, I can't handle it if he was to die. Oh, deja vu much. I'm getting a little bit of flashback to the first opening scene of this show. The singing, the dead bodies everywhere, the chaos. Ugh. I love this show. I love how this show just full circles everything. Tell my, tell my daughter. I'm gonna tell your daughter her father was a piece of shit. No, 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 no. Echo. Jinx, please don't kill him. She just might because it seems like she's too far gone. <laughs> oh, look who it is. The boy savior. The title of the episode. I love this. The visuals, the animation. Wah, wah, wah. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh. That was a cute little montage, and now we're back to scary violence. <laughs> Something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. Not why, 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 why? Why? Why not? Okay, so now we're on to episode eight. I've been binge watching this for the whole entire day. That's why I'm still in the same outfit. Oh, I need to sit up. My back is hurting. Kino says war is a failure of statecraft. Your brother thinks he can talk his way out of anything. If you want to last in this world, you must learn to be both the fox and the wolf. Oh, deep. We'll paint the walls in gold. Import crystal chandeliers. Advisors will enter here. Okay, interior decorator. What should we do with her? What did she do? She won't make trouble for us. Strip her of her possessions and send her to the far colonies. She's a symbol of the old regime. 
kill her now. Only one must die. Let her live and you may need to kill thousands. We can show the people we are merciful. Yeah. And she kills her... Her head off. A wolf has no mercy. <gasps> That's a good way to traumatize your child. Oh no, she has the stone. Oh. What? Oh no. So we did all of this. Almost died multiple times just to fail the mission. Okay. Who lives here? Another counselor friend of yours? Oh! <laughs> Hi, mother. We were so worried. Thank goodness you're safe. And you found a stray. Huh? A stray? Why are you talking about her like she's a dog? <laughs> Your actions reflect on the entire body. My actions? Oh. You know what else reflects on the council? It's citizens living on the streets. Being poisoned. Having to choose between a kingpin who wants to exploit them and a government that doesn't give a shit. Yep. Are you prepared to lose her? She won't die, Doctor. She can't. Please understand this is for your own sanity. <laughs> What? I too once had a daughter. Okay. Night night, Silco. You run a tight ship, don't you? Except it's not your ship. It's his. And Jinx's. Mother, what are you doing here? It's been over a decade, Mel, since you banished me. Such drama. I sent you here to oversee our family's interests. You said perhaps your sentimentality will be more at home with those soft-spined idealists overseas. Oh, mother! You have your father's memory. Your brother's gone. How are you gonna drop that bomb like that? What happened to, hello, how are you? War is coming. You've let the problems of your undercity fester too long. Weapons can't be unmade and they are always used. I'm here to help guide you to the right decisions. Miss Medarda. Who are you? I'm off to sample the local cuisine. Oh, is he a little boy toy? She's gonna be sampling more than just the cuisine. Again, a fucking game. It keeps happening again and again and again with the jump scares. Why? Oh, sisters, jinx. Oh, oh. What? It will only get worse. This is actually super creepy. <laughs> Professor, I don't think you're built for down here. Boy, watch it for a ball. Watch it for a ball. No. Oh, ingenious. Though these blades seem improperly pitched. You're wrong. Oh, Echo, you're alive. You're Mel's mom. Among other things. Hmm. Squeeze, child. You won't break it. Navigating your current crisis requires expertise you lack. Thank you for your advice, Mrs. Medarda. But I have a city to run. Wait. Um, you know, want some clothes? Mother's in shape, though. She's looking good. You have the passion of youth. I have experience. If you don't accept certain realities, I fear you'll end up like General Palek. Slaughtered with your eyes closed. People are starving, sick, ravaged by shimmer. Mm -hmm. They live in constant fear of the coordinated efforts of violent crime lords. Yep. One man leads these efforts. Silco. We have to go in by force. That could trigger war. Why is your answer violence? What happened to you? 
We've been talking about talking for weeks now. They're still cleaning the blood off the bridge. When do we say enough is enough? Jace, you don't know war. This is insane. Did you learn nothing? You can't talk to him. He hates you. Everything you stand for. Enforcers, please escort them out. Forget it. I remember where your fancy damn door is. <laughs> we tried, okay? It wasn't enough. Top side and bottom, oil and water. Eh, eh, he said it! What about us? What about us? What about all the things we've been through? What about trust? Do yourself a favor. Okay. Go back to that big, shiny house of yours and just... Forget me. Okay. I gotta go my own way. It's really giving High School Musical vibes. Okay, look at you walk, Victor. Look at you run, Victor. That was decades long pent up scream. Victor, what we doing? I was hoping you might take a look at something I've been working on. I was inspired by your... Everything you do inspires me. Oh. Sky, though, I think you're walking in on the wrong moments. What? What? Don't tell me this is like Steven Universe and they just merged together. Or did she turn into sand? You want to make Sokol pay for what he's done? I could have you arrested. She doesn't care. Been there, done that. I want to make Silco pay. I want in. There is no in. You heard the council. Fuck the council. <laughs> you said you were tired of doing nothing. Silco controls the Undercity with Shimmer. Take out his manufacturing facilities. Hit him hard and fast before he can react. That's a good idea. I like that plan. I just know it's not gonna go smoothly though. It's gonna end very terribly. <laughs> See, this is why we don't smoke on the job. Ooh, let's not use unnecessary violence. Like that looks like a little kid. Why are you doing all that? No. It makes sense that he would have his own army as protection, but oh my goodness, they're fast. Oh. Okay, bye. This music. Oh, that was a close one. Oh, right for the knee. Oh no, he just shot the kid. This is what trauma looks like. Oh, he's still alive? You survived that fall? Why are there so many children working here? I don't know how to play a violin. That was my best attempt at mimicking it. Shh. 
shut up. All Cupcake is trying to do is take a nice steamy shower. <gasps> and they end the episode like that. Is this the final episode? Wait. Yes, it's the finale. Guys, I, I really don't know if I'm ready for the finale. I don't think I am. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let me drink some water and brace myself because I feel like this is going to be a woozy. Okay, episode nine is called The Monster You Created. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Yeah, may you rest in peace, little boy. You are unnecessarily killed. But then again, you did press the alarm button, so maybe you low-key deserved to go. I'm kidding. That was a joke, a bad one, but still a joke. <laughs> do you not understand? I am part of this now. You've always been a part of this. Yep. You just never had to look it in the eye. One dead kid? There's hundreds more where he came from, thanks to Silco and thanks to people like you who stuck their heads in the dirt. Oh, she's speaking facts. You're gonna do anything about that piece of shit that murdered my boy. At least we have the solace of knowing he died fighting for our cause. Oh, shut up, Silco. That's so easy for you to say. If that was Jinx, you would be in shambles. <laughs> what is it doing? Why is it growing? That's not good. Y'all created a monster, which makes sense for the title of the episode. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. You should have killed it while you could. Look, now it's trying to take over your body. Moxian wine is bold by comparison. The grapes are hardened by the climate, but then... Mother's really enjoying her trip. She's getting foot massage down with a view and a glass of wine in hand. Would you like that? Stay away from Jace. Better yet, march back to your ship and get the hell out of my city. Oh! I stopped being part of this family the moment you cast me out. Why did you do it? Because you weakened me. I couldn't endure the look in your eyes whenever I made the decisions, the necessary decisions, to keep us safe. Let the war unfold. Then you come home, take your place at my side. It's where you belong. Why would she want to be in your shadow again? Ugh. Am I interrupting? Deja vu! Am I interrupting? Oh, how the tables have turned. Now he's stopping Victor from unaliving himself. You have to destroy it. I know. We lost ourselves, lost our dream. Mm-hmm. In the pursuit of great, we failed to do good. Yep, 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 yep. I'm glad we're finally having this realization. A little late, but better late than ever. She really dust off his chair. Oh, you got replaced, my dude. When you took Vander out of play, I thought now here's the man who understands what it takes to run an enterprise. But times loved you, old man. Mm, really called him old man. Wow. Today is the day you die, Silco. That's a risk I've known all my life. But I still believe in your team. So she didn't turn on him. I would have had your son killed for this, though I suppose we're ahead on that account. Get out. Miss Jackson. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, the sunset. Mm. Today, I got a glimpse of what war between us might look like. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't good. Your people wouldn't stand a chance. 
Really? I think you're underestimating the underworld. Get me Jinx, and I'll give you your nation of Zaun. Are we actually gonna do that? Absolutely not. Astonishing. You say all this came about in your own brief lifespan? Yes. <laughs> It's not enough to give people what they need to survive. You have to give them what they need to live. I love that. I love that he created a safe haven. All we ever wanted. The boy didn't even haggle. And what do I lose but problems? Oh, it all makes sense now, brother. Is there anything so undoing as a daughter? Oh no. Oh no. What's up with her and East dropping? <laughs> Ew, what what was the reason for that? And you were the one that licked your finger for the child book too. What's up with you and licking things? How ironic because Violet just walked on in and he is so clueless. <laughs> Everyone out. So is this round two? With the pool table. Well, your guard needs work. Vander. She still needs you. They all do. Mm. That's my girl. This show has the prettiest fight scenes ever. They're gruesome, they're bloody, but they're beautiful. Oh my goodness, yes! Mm-hmm, let it out, girl. Let it out. Bravo, oh sis. my goodness, I can't. Uh, uh. My recent unsanctioned activities in the underground have shown me two things. I'm not fit to govern the people who live there. And neither are you. You're walking a fine line, Jace. With respect, I don't give a shit what any of you think of me anymore. <laughs> Finally. Jace has brokered a peace with Silco in exchange for the Undercity's independence. What? What is this tantrum? Collect yourselves. Oh no, oh no. Jinx? Really thought I buried this place. Are we alone? For now. For now? What's coming? Wanna know a secret? No, thank you. I don't want to know the secret. Silco thinks he made Jinx. But he didn't make Jinx. You did. Yeah, yeah, you did. Because you're a Jinx! Do you hear me? I'm sorry, Powder. It's a little too late. I don't like that, Stark. Are we still sisters? Nothing is ever going to change that. I really don't like this. What is this creepy dinner? 
He took everything from us. Right here, he stabbed Vander in the back. All the time saying you abandoned me when he knew the truth. Mm. Liar. Hmm. We're missing someone. Oh, it's gonna be Caitlyn, huh? She's really not coping with their deaths, huh? This is why therapy is important, kids. I paid your girlfriend a visit this morning. What did you do? I made her a snack. Do not tell me. No! <gasps> Sheesh. I'm not that crazy. Girl. <laughs> she really had me. And Jinx, you are kind of crazy enough to do that. No offense, babes. I still love you. No! Powder, listen. We, we can just go. We'll leave and never come back. Where would we go? No, no, no. She's not staying, Pat. Her name is Jinx. You'll be with her a day before she realizes you aren't that girl anymore. Oh and turns my her back goodness. On I'm on your side. I promise. <laughs> oh my. Shut up! We're talking! Drop the gun! It's a trick, huh? That was awesome. You see, now finish it. Damn it, Powder! Wake up! Get your mind locked Oh. Oh. Stop. Not us facing our traumas right now. Mom! What happens? Who did you shoot? The only correct answer is Silco. Right answer. I never would have given you to them. Not for anything. Don't cry. You're perfect. Sweet moments like yes I want him dead but I'm kind of sad that like Powder is hurt again and is losing another person she cares about. This girl this whole series has been having trauma 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 in her face. Oh no. And it's Jinx. I thought maybe you could love me like you used to. Even though I'm different, but you changed too. So, here's to the new us. I am the monster you created. Not the song being the title of the episode. And I needed you more. Girly Pop, what are we doing? We will show them all. I support Councillor Talis' proposal for peace. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at Professor and Echo. Caitlyn's mom is gonna die. I just have this feeling with the way like that shot was done. And if you think about it, Caitlyn's mom isn't really that important. We can easily just her and it would be fine story-wise. And plus I think it would add a little juiciness to Cupcake's and Violet's relationship. Cause then it's like, oh my gosh, Vi, your sister killed my mom. Like, what are you gonna do about it? Then Strawberry Shortcake, AKA Vi is gonna be like, I don't know because it's like, she's my sister. But like, yeah, she just unalived my lover's mom. Sprinkle a little bit of drama in there. Cause I don't think Mel is gonna die cause she's too important of a character. I don't think Jace is gonna die because once again, too important of a character. Victor is probably not going to because he's been taking shimmer. So he's a bit invincible at this moment. And the other counselors, I don't know, but I feel like 
Caitlin's mom, plot wise, makes sense that she's just mm, gone. Okay, that's it. What could have been? What could have been? No, 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 I refuse. Is there an end credit at least? No? That's so upsetting. How is it just gonna end like that? That was disrespectful. So disrespectful. They set that up perfectly for a season two though. And guess what? I'm gonna be tuned in for season two now because I need to know what happens. I spent my whole day watching this show and no regrets. I hope you guys enjoyed binge watching this show with me. If you did, please like, cause it's gonna be a lot to edit this. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.